My name is Ross Thurston and the, the business is Livestock Water Recycling. And what we do is we build skids of equipment to treat environmental problems. And the, and the biggest, most exciting thing, the, the one that we're most interested in right now is manure. And the help that we're getting from Talus and the Globe in this, in this way is really going to let us leverage ourselves into a, into a bigger picture. We recycle water from wastewater, a huge, huge issue in the world, and it's in agriculture. And we have to feed more people in the world with the same amount of land, and this product that we've developed and spent so much time at is, is, does those two things. So we're very, very excited. But the leverage we're going to get out of that award is it's going to let us service a much more, much larger customer, much larger number of partners in North America and around the world much more efficiently. It gives us the ability to develop our laboratory so that we have go from a basic lab where we send everything outside to a lab where we can do everything inside and we can process samples in time and on time efficiently for our customers as well as develop products and make our, what we do better. Manure is this huge liquid wastewater that's full of nutrients and valuable products that can't be used because it's too dilute and it's intermingled. And to give context, a 2,000 cow dairy has the same amount of wastewater as a 400,000 person city. So it's a considerable amount. And what happens now is that that manure is applied, but it can't be used efficiently. And farmers are the original recyclers. There's no bigger environmentalist than a farm. You go there and everything is reused to the maximum potential. They haven't had the technology to, to do what we're doing. And what we're doing is taking the liquid manure and we're taking ever smaller particles out and segregating them so that we get a pile of solids with phosphorus and nitrogen and we get a concentrated liquid with ammonia and potash and importantly, very importantly, 75% of the material comes back as a clean drinking water. We just see great things ahead and it's, gonna, it's really going to be a fun and exciting next 10 years.